Hey guys, so one of the things I like to do before getting started in our production and making all the assets is I want to make sure that the 3D program I'm using matches the game engine. So today we're going to go over how to set up Maya for Unreal. We're covering how to use Maya's Send to Unreal feature for exporting, how to match the scale so that when we bring our assets in, we don't have to rescale them, as well as customizing the grid. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Digital Dreambox, your destination for art tutorials for games. Before we begin today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest content. Let's jump right in. Okay, so let's go over how to link our Maya project with Unreal. Um, it's quite simple actually. So we're gonna go up here to where it says File. Down, down here where it says Send to Unreal, choose Set Unreal Project. Now you need to navigate to where you keep your Unreal project. I'm gonna go where I keep mine. And then just select it. Now it's set up for export. So it saves you from exporting into a folder and then bring, bring it right into Unreal. Um, all right, so the next thing I like to do is I create a cube in Maya and I take it into Unreal to see if it matches, just to make sure that the scale matches. We're going to go back up to File, down to Send to Unreal, and we're going to choose Selection. It's going to put it in the Import folder. Um, if it doesn't find it, you just need to um, navigate and select it under the main project, but it should find it. I'm going to overwrite this cube one that I had earlier. Actually, no, let's just rename this. So I'm going to choose uh, Maya Cube 1. Down here, we'll leave the settings as is, and we're going to Export. Okay, so let's jump into Unreal. So here we are inside a blank Unreal project, and I'm gonna drag an Unreal cube into the scene and reset its position. Next, I wanna import um, the cube that I exported from Maya. So I'm gonna go here where it says import. I'm gonna choose Maya cube one, and I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna leave everything at uh, default, and I'm going to choose Import. And then let's drag it into the scene. Already you can kind of see something weird is happening. In the thumbnail, the cube is really small. Drag into the scene, reset the position, pull it off to the side, and it doesn't even look like it's in the scene, but we'll frame in on it, and you can see it's here. It's just 1 100th of the size. So let's um, figure out how we can correct this. So one method of correcting it is going into here, where the scale is, and you can multiply that by 100. Um, but it, that is not really the best practice. You're going to get some very large or small scale values um, oftentimes. So one another thing you can do is when you first import it, you can change the uniform scale. So let's do that. So we'll delete our cube in the scene, and then we'll re-import it. So go back to import import that Maya cube and we can change the uniform scale by 100. So when we do this, it'll import it and you'll have the cube at the correct scale. So let's just reset, pull it off to the side. There you go. Um, so this isn't a bad method, it's totally valid. Um, the other ma method is, is a little bit iffy, but um, this one's not bad. Um, one thing that you might consider is that if you're bringing in art assets from different programs, um, you might have to change that uniform scale multiple times depending on um, the default unit. So it's always nice to have that set, and so you don't have to keep changing that. So let's see um, how we do that inside of Maya. So here we are back inside of Maya. I'm going to delete this cube that we had earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to says where it says Windows. Go down to Settings and Preferences, choose Preferences, and go to Settings. Next, we're going to change the linear working units from centimeters to meters. Hit Save, and then we're going to put in a cube. All right, so now that we've changed Maya's working units, 
um, you're gonna have an issue and it's that the far clipping plane um, is not far enough so let's fix that I'm gonna go up here to outliner choose my perspective camera in the clipping plane I'm gonna change from 100 to let's do a hundred thousand and then the near clipping plane I'm gonna do 0 0.01 all right, now that that's fixed, let's export our cube. We're going to take the cube, go back up to File, go to Send to Unreal Selection, and we're going to call this Maya Cube 2. And then one more thing we need to do is scroll down here where the scale factor is, change it from automatic, um, actually turn off automatic, I should say, and then change from meters to centimeters and then choose export. All right, so now we'll go back into Unreal. We're gonna import our cube two, and we're gonna keep the uniform scale at one, and then we're import. All right, so here we go, cube two looks pretty good. Move it to here, reset the position, pull off to the side, and we have now a matching cube. So that's basically how you match the scale uh, in Maya to Unreal. All right, next, let's see how we can customize the grid in Maya. Um, and we also will go over how to match it to the snap values in Unreal. So to get to the grid options, um, you can go up here where it says display and choose the option box, or you can get it from the shading panel here. Right click, grid options. And first thing we're going to do is just to customize the color, you can go down here to color and it just makes easier to identify which lines we're working with. So this one here, I'll choose light blue. I'm going to leave grid lines and numbers at medium gray. I'm going to darken the subdivision lines. Um, I'm going to apply. All right. So the length and width is just the size of your grid. So if I go up to here to change this to say 20 and hit apply, I just have a larger grid to work with. Um, grid lines every unit is, it's going to put a grid line whatever your um, working units are. So right now we have that meters. So it's putting grid lines every five meters. And if I change this to say one, right? It's gonna put that at every one meter. Change it to 10, you guys get it, okay. So next is our subdivision lines, right? And so right now it's at grid lines every 10, so every 10 meters. And subdivisions, it's putting five subdivisions. Next, let's open up Unreal and see um, and compare the two. So one of the things I want to say is it's totally fine to work in the default, default Maya values for the grid. Um, so here in Unreal, let's take a look at what these mean. So the 10 up here is the snap value so it's basically saying that each of these units is worth 10 so 10 centimeters right if i were to change this to say 50 each of these now is worth 50 centimeters so in unreal the unreal unit is equal to one centimeter just so you know um And so what we can do is, oh yeah, before we go on, um, the subdivisions here is always 10, regardless of what number you change this to. So if you change this to, say, 10, right, it still can be 10 subdivisions. If I change this to 100, same thing. Zoom out, 10 subdivisions. So I'm going to minimize this, go into Maya, and I can change this to 10. So if you're looking to... Um, replicate or customize this, this so that it matches Unreal. You can leave the subdivisions at 10. Um, let's move this so it's easier to see. Okay, so to match the Maya grid to Unreal, what you want to do is take this number and divide it by 10. So if I were to take 100, and I guess it's, it's already set here, but you can see that it matches Unreal. If I were to take this to change this to say, well, let me just close the actors panel so we have a little more room. 
Um, <clears throat> if I were to take this and change this to 50, right? In grid lines every, you know, I can change this to five, hit apply, and now we have a grid that matches Unreal's. And that's all there's, that's the formula. I'll um, put, up it up, put it up so you guys can see, but it's pretty simple. The default one is 10, right? Let's zoom in on our cube. And then if I change this to one, so 10 divided by um, 10 is one, hit apply. We now have a grid that matches um, Unreal's. Usually I have the length and width set at 10 personally. I like that um, even metric number, it's not too large and it works. I'm gonna hit apply and close now. So yeah, so that's all there is to, to it to customize the grid for Unreal. Well, that wraps up today's tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.